What's up guys, Wade from Revolution here in the Rolex booth, checking out some amazing new watches here. So new here is the 50th anniversary uh, Rolex Sea Dweller. Sea Dweller was a watch that was created in obviously 50 years ago, so 1967. Uh, a watch that was the first commercial watch to have a helium release valve in it. So the helium release valve is just here. And it, as the name implies, it allows the watch to release helium molecules. So you can ask yourself like, how is it that helium molecule is going to be inside of your watch? Well, what happened is Rolex was working with a French company called Comex. These were deep sea oil exploration dudes and they would dive deep into the ocean and they would stay at the bottom of the seabed for many days on end. And what they would do is they wouldn't read the scent because you could imagine it's probably not terribly good for your health. So they go into these chambers that were built on the sea floor and there they would breathe a mixture of oxygen and helium. So as they were there, helium molecules, which are much smaller than oxygen molecules, would enter into your watch. Now, when you go out and you start to surface again, helium molecules start to expand. And what happens is that it will cause the crystal of your watch to pop off. So this is why the helium release valve was created. 1967, they created this first model, or a model very similar to this, right, which had a single uh, line of red writing, single red, and had a patent pending back because it was patent pending for the helium release valve. Um, that model today is one of the most collectible models, and I think it's really beautiful they have done an homage to the single red. Uh, in 1972, they started with the double red, which was uh, the Mark II dial, and they went all the way through Mark III, Mark IV, and then they went to the Great White. And they made the, uh, the Sea Dweller, I think, all the way to the V series, if I'm not mistaken, and they stopped for a while and they came back with it a couple years later with a ceramic um, bezel version, kind of like you have here. But this is such a beautiful uh, uh, statement of the incredible history of Rolex as a pioneer in, in watch technology. Um, to this version is a little bit bigger, it's 43mm, it's got a bit more presence on the wrist as you can see. But still, you know, beautifully balanced watch, amazing piece and what a great part of Rolex's history. Uh, priced at, they're free! No, <laughs> This, this one doesn't have a price, but knowing Rolex, I'm sure it's priced extremely well. And as Rolex always gives you incredible value for your money. Wait, hang on, hang on. I feel the price materializing. Some rolls. Mm. Just over 10,000 Swiss francs, 10, 8, 880. Yeah? 1080. So that's extraordinary to have that kind of technology for, in a watch that represents such an important part of history. The other watch I want to talk to you a little bit about is this, which is absolutely stunning. So this is a new Daytona in white gold uh, with the ceramic bezel with the Oyster Flex bracelet, which is rubber, but inside of it there's titanium with nickel. And from what I understand, you can also put a normal bracelet on this as well, so you've got the option of going back and forth between the two. But what I love is the dial of this watch. Now look at it. What does it remind you of? It, well, not a Paul Newman. It reminds you of a 6263 Big Red. Exactly, which has got that same beautiful silver dial with the red lighting here, which is the red writing's not big, unfortunately, so it's medium red or <laughs> small red, but it's got such a wonderful sort of statement of understanding Rolex's power and design and taking its history and empowering a new modern watch, you know? So there you go. This is the other one on watch that uh, I think I may have to leave the fair with. But anyway, Rolex constantly killing it at Basel. Amazing watches all the time. Price. 27,400 Swiss francs, which again, for a white gold watch, ceramic bezel, it's marvelous, all right? Thanks guys, peace out. See you in the next 